Hey guys, welcome back. So as by today's video, you can see I'm going to talk about the new Rouge Coco Flash. A lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about it. Um, we finally got it in last week. Um, so I'm just going to do a couple swatches for you guys. I'm going to tell you like what are the changes, um, whether or not I like the texture. So it's going to be like a little bit of everything, kind of like how I usually do it. So for those of you who don't know, um, the Rouge Coco Shine has now become Rouge Coco Flash. So Rouge Coco Shine has completely been discontinued. Um, all of the old colors are gone. It's a completely new formulation. It is completely new colors. You get 30 new colors and three new top coats. So I got a couple of them to show you guys and I have my old ones just so you guys can reference it so I can show you guys the differences. And the good thing is they did decide to keep some of the old colors. I know they kept Boy, they kept um, Boheme, and they kept Noir Modern. And I think that's it. They only kept a few of them. So personally, I was a fan of the Rouge Coco Shines. I loved a lot of the colors. Um, because I'm not really a big lip person. So these were great because they were like tinted lip balms. It gave you just enough color without, you know, having to reapply. So for me, it was one of those very thoughtless lipsticks. Like you just apply it on. If it faded away, it faded away. No one's really going to notice. Um, you know, if you want to retouch, you could do it without a mirror. It was just a very easy going lipstick. And they came in like the small tubes like this. It was like the skinnier tubes and it was characterized by like the white CCs on top and you just twist it up like any other lipstick. So that's what they were known for. So we do have the new ones and they look very similar from the side. It's about the same, yeah, they're pretty much the same height, girth, um, pretty much the same engineering of packaging. So the difference is instead of having white CCs on top, you have a clear um, top so you're able to see what color you're picking out. Um, you do still have the white CCs on top, but as you can see, like it's a see-through top. So you're able to see what color you're picking out of your bag, which makes it a lot easier because sometimes the numbers do rub off down here and you can't really tell what color. And plus it's just easier. Like, you know, um, since I do have my lipsticks, you know, standing up in my vanity. So that's one benefit and the biggest difference in between the packaging. So I went ahead and picked up as many as I could. Um, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, I love these anyway, and I picked out colors that I knew I was going to like. So I picked up three top coats, um, a bunch of colors, and I picked out colors that were supposed to be the same from the Rouge Coco Shine, just so we can compare the differences in pigmentation. Because I remember when I was watching them, you know, Boy from this collection wasn't the same from Boy from the Rouge Coco Shine. So that way you guys can see, you know, if you were like a big fan of Boy or a big fan of Boheme or a big fan of Noir Modern, um, it's the colors are slightly different so you may or may not like them the same and you may or may not want to pick another color it's completely up to you guys so the new collection comes with 27 new colors and three top coats the formulation is completely different so this collection has a higher percentage of pigments and a higher percentage of oils so the difference in oils allows an easier glide on the lips while still maintaining the vibrancy of the color plus they added a hydro boost complex in it that allows you to have hydration on your lips for eight hours which sounds pretty good so the colors that they did keep like i said were boy boheme and um nor modern nor modern i never bought um and i don't have it but i do have boheme and i do have boy so that you guys can see so i'm gonna do a swatch of the old boy and the new boy let's see how do i want to do this so this is the old boy it is really pretty has some pinks it's like a nice delicate rose petal pink and let's see, this is the new boy. So this is the new boy and there's definitely a lot less pink purple. Um, this one kind of airs more towards being almost like a nude, like almost like a brown nude. It has a little bit more of a peach in the new boy. So this is the old boy, this is the new boy. Next we have Boheme. So the old Boheme's gonna go down here. So this is the old Boheme. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the new one on this side. So this is a new one. This one looks to me a little more brighter. They're very similar. Um, I feel like boy, there's more of an obvious difference, but with a boheme, there's less of a difference. Um, they look very, very similar. This one does look like a little more fuchsia to me though. So in addition, Chanel also brought out three new top coats. So we have a light up, we have warm up, and we have deepness. So it kind of follows the same concept of the lip gloss top coats. We had them before. There's excitation that we use to brighten. There's um, orange blood that we use to warm up. And then there's um, 
the black one caviar that we use to deepen so same concept with these you can use these as a top coat you could use on top of regular lipsticks you could use it on its own I mean I've done it before so let's start off with the illuminating top coat and this one is called a light up it is a peachy ivory color it doesn't have it almost looks you guys can barely see it on camera it doesn't yield much color it kind of yields more brightness so this would be really pretty kind of like in the center of the lips um, on top of like any lipstick that you have this would be really pretty next we have warm up which I'm not a fan of because it's orange um, and you could use this to like it like the name suggests warm up any color um, say you're wearing a lipstick that you feel is a little too cool for your look you can always warm it up with this and it's gonna give you a nice comfortable shine so you have light up right there and then you have warm up right next to it next we have deepness and this one is to intensify so this one has it's not as scary as it looks like honestly it looks pitch black like honestly it looks like the scariest color but remember this is a top coat so it yields as much color as the caviar one this one will just give you like a nice intensity a little more depth this one's a really good transition color if you want to change your lip color from daytime to nighttime this would be a really good addition in your bag just to slap on your lip real quick so there you have it the three top coats and i did pick up about um one, two, three, four, and six. I did pick up six other colors and I'll just swatch them on my arms for you guys. Um, just so you guys can see at least um, some of my favorite ones. And of course, they're all nudes because you know I only really wear nudes. Just so you guys can see the glide and the payoff of the colors at least. Um, of course, I highly suggest that you guys go in store to check them out and just to try them on yourself first. So you can get like a more accurate gauge on how these colors look on you. And of course, I can't explain like how smooth they are. Like you guys can't feel, and of course you guys can't feel how smooth they are on camera, but the application of this is more buttery. It just kind of melts on your lips. Um, it kind of reminds me of the old formula of like the Stilo, the one that was a two-in-one. The one that gave you, the, the one that was a lipstick but gave you the shine of a gloss. It was, it's pretty much as buttery as that, but with more stability. This one, it just melts on your lips as soon as you put it on and it glides on and it makes your lips look like honey. It's just, it's really good. This formula, I feel, is a lot better. The first one that I grabbed was Chicness, kind of like a peachy brown. It kind of reminds me of DeVille a little bit. I was kind of looking for something that was going to replace my old colors. So this one is Chicness. And then I'm going to do a video where I try them on too so you guys can see what they look like, but that video is coming later. And then next we have Casual. This is Casual right here. They're very similar, as you guys can see. I only, grad I only gravitate towards so many colors guys so chicness casual right over here chicness has a little more pink in it casual definitely has a little more peach and then we have jour which i think is my favorite one like this one is pretty gosh darn perfect like it offers a perfect daytime color which is why it's called jour probably this one is jour and it is like the perfect petal pink next we have live and i'm a huge fan of this color too the color payoff of these guys are so much better i feel um i think the stability is even better because the old one i found it a little streaky these not so much so this one is live between the live and jour jour has a little bit more of a coral live is definitely more pinkish and then we have immediate so this one kind of starts to skew towards like a peachy pink and then we have Rush. So this is about as bright as it gets for me, guys. And in the tube, it looks pretty bright. Like, it looks pretty freaking bright in the tube. Thankfully, payoff-wise, not so bright. So this one is Rush. I'm so white. Can, can you guys see, like, the difference between my arm and my face? Oh, I obviously don't get a lot of sun, you guys. But yeah, this one is Rush. So those are the other colors that I picked up. Let me just swatch Boy for you guys right next to it so you guys can see. We have Boy. We have Boheme. And then we have Nor Modern. Ooh, this one has a lot more payoff. Out of all of them, I feel like probably this one is probably like the brightest one. And even then, that's as bright as I'll go. But the colors are really pretty. When it comes to pigmentation, the payoff is much better. Um, 
it's much more of an easier application. The glide is a lot better. It's more nourishing. It feels better on the lips. It looks better on the lips. It doesn't look as streaky as some of them used to be. I don't know. I feel like these are going to be a hit and I definitely highly suggest that you guys go in and take a look at them. They're really good. Um, and I am going to try these on for you guys in a different video so you guys can see how they look on the lips, but that's going to come at a later time, maybe in a couple weeks. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, go ahead and give me a phone call. I'm always going to be there to answer. Email me, DM me, whatever it is, comment down below. However you guys want to reach out to me. I'm excited to hear from you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye.